now we're going to troubleshoot openers dropping during transport with a Borgo independent drill. So now let's talk about this CKGV valve. This is a check valve that was installed on units before 2017 and it was simply just a check valve to help hold the openers up in the uh, storage position, transport position, so on so forth. What can happen with this valve is if there is a leak in the system, so there's oil moving from the base to rod end side or vice versa, what's going to happen is the pressure is going to change from one side of the circuit to the other side of the circuit and you could potentially open the check valve and the oils would go cause the openers to drop in a burp. This would show up during transport when the wings were up and the main frame cylinders were the only ones down. If you had excess oil from the wing lift side of things um, and a slight leak in the circuit causing this to happen, the openers would go down rapidly. So we produced a bulletin, came up with a bit of a band-aid fix because it can be very hard to identify where the small leaks are in the circuit. So we released TSB 15 of 2017. It identifies a bunch of things you should look for. And it identifies a valve change. So the CKGV, we change it to a CAGL valve. So all you had to do is remove this guy and install the new CAGL valve. If it had this valve already, the stamping would be changed on here. But you can see the stamping is on this valve. This is a counterbalance valve. To make a long story short, what this valve does is it makes it so it takes quite a bit more pressure differential for that to happen. So it effectively holds up the openers a lot better during transport and or storage. So let's review what you've learned so far. We're looking at the older style valve, 3440-87 valve. This is the drawing we're looking at right now. So what we can see that's different from the old drawing to the new drawing is the old drawing has the CKGV pilot operated check valve. Just like the one we showed you on the valve. I'll zoom in a little bit. So this RDRL comes from the rod end side of the hydraulic cylinders and the PDRL goes to the base end of the cylinders. The rod end during transport has to hold the load from all of the other openers and everything sitting on the rod end of those hydraulic cylinders to hold the openers up. So how it does so, it's got this pilot operated check valve. So this ball doesn't allow the return oil to go through there. That was the initial design. Then we have this other pilot operated check valve, the COFA, that was working in conjunction with our regen circuit to send oil from the rod end to base end to speed the lower cycle. The pilot pressure for this CKGV valve came from the opener down circuit. So how it would work is as we had opener down pressure before the pressure reduction valve, so this is basically sitting at tractor system pressure when we're engaged in a down position, it would open up this check valve and allow the openers to move up and down to the adjusted relief. 
fairly simple system worked fine. The only challenge we had was if we had a leak between the rod end pressure and the base end pressure. So when it's holding pressure on the rod end, if you had a seep across a cylinder or multiple cylinders, it would slowly change the amount of pressure from rod end to base end. The base end pressure would build and the rod end pressure would reduce as we're doing that. It would get to the tipping point where it would be like we engaged our openers and this pilot valve would open. That would allow all of the oil on the rod end side of the cylinders to flood the return path. Because the COFA pilot operated check for the re uh, regen circuit is in here, it was getting its pilot pressure from the return side of things. So this is on its way out back to the tractor and it has very low back pressure here. So this pilot operated check valve is here so that when we're raising the openers and that now becomes pressure that it would push the ball and make sure all of our oil goes to the rod end cylinders to raise them. But if this number three, the pilot operated check pressure drops, this is open. So the ball is allowed to move over towards the right. So that flood of oil coming from this circuit would move through and then replenish the base end and it would be that the openers would go down in a burst. So now we're going to look at the newer style valve and you can see that pretty much everything on the valve is identical to the original valve other than we've changed that pilot operated check valve to a CAGL counterbalance valve. So we could have the same problem on the circuit where you'd have rod end oil migrating over to the base end of the cylinders or the circuit and the only difference is this counterbalance valve is holding it all at roughly 2000 PSI plus the pilot pressure doesn't affect it as easily so as this pilot pressure changes it has to climb a lot higher for that same situation to happen makes an effective way to help hold those openers up during transport or storage so they avoid dropping with a burp.